How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you how to download more apps on your Google uh, Chromebook. And to do that, you're going to come down to your apps, which is um, it's one of the apps at the bottom that when you put the mouse over it says apps right there. And the first option you should see in the list is the Chrome Web Store. So click on Chrome Web Store. And this will take you to a store with, I don't know the exact number, but I want to say it's over 100,000 applications. If I'm wrong, don't scream at me. If you know it, just put it in the comments and be nice about it. But anyway, um, there's a full app store here with tons and tons of free applications you can take advantage of. They have some really cool themes as well. So if you want your Chrome to look nicer, you even got your Angry Birds. So you get a lot more free. You have your Sonic, Ultimate Flash Sonic, Cut the Rope, a lot of uh, like cool Facebook little apps, Mini Ninjas, Solitaire. So let's say we want to download one. I'm going to download Google Finance. Put the mouse over it. It'll show you a, a brief description. You can click on it to get more information. Overview. We can look at some different pictures. We can do details, reviews, see what people thought about it. We can see related apps to it. And then if we like it, we just click Add to Chrome. And then it'll ask you to confirm, click uh, Add, and you're done. And it just shows up right there. Now, that's obviously kind of a boring app. Let's pick something fun. Let's find a game, shall we? Uh, the Fancy Pants World. Yeah, that sounds fun. Let's click on that. And here, got a cool little game. They actually even give you like a couple of videos you can watch. Uh, if we go right here, we can click a video to get a preview of it. I'm not going to do that. We got our details, more of an explanation of how it runs, reviews, did they like it, related. Let's download it. Click Add to Chrome. Click Add, and then it will show up. Once it downloads, it'll show up in your app section. There it is. Fancy Pants, we can click on it. Pretty cool. I'm not going to watch the whole thing. Now, one important thing to note, if you go down to your apps and use two fingers to swipe between the apps, so if I want to go this way, I'm going to swipe to the right. Okay. Um, find where it says get started and then once get started pops up look for where it says offline apps or work offline click on that and then you're gonna come down to where it says offline collection click on this now this is important because uh, make sure you download some apps that work offline. What offline means is when you don't have an internet connection, you can still use the computer. Because again, this operating system, the Chrome OS is what it's called, is a web-based operating system, which means a lot of the features work when you're connected with the internet. When you're not connected, you lose some of those features. Okay? So like Solitaire, um... We have some good productivity apps, some Facebook add-ons, speech recognizer, word search. Um, it's a huge list. Like It would take me a while to really get through all these. But just make sure you download some of the offline apps too. Like Pretty cool. I'm going to actually download that right now. Tetris. Um, just because, again, if you don't, you may find yourself one day in a place where you don't have the internet. And you're going to be stuck because all the games you normally play... You can't play when there's no internet. And they even had a couple of Angry Birds on here that also work offline. So um, just make sure you get a good selection of both. And then you won't get stuck not being able to have fun when the internet's not working. Like you might even have a power outage. And guess what? When there's a power outage, the internet ain't working. So, you know, you got this, this Chromebook that has a 10-hour battery life. And you can't do anything with it because you don't have any offline apps. So make sure you download some offline stuff all right we're gonna just do it we're gonna end it right there hope you guys found this helpful make sure you like the video if you did find it helpful subscribe to HG Tech videos check out a lot of my other Chromebook videos I've 
uh, made a bunch just so you guys will have a good selection and um, kind of get some more information on how this Chromebook works. So, anyway, take care. And once again, thanks for watching and have a good one.